even today, I still don't actively seek out exit when I go into places. Um, and I know that that's one of the first things that you're supposed to do. Library Director Valerie Bell required her staff to attend the active shooter training sessions today to learn more about safety. For me, it's important that my staff know about it, not just for here, you know, not just at work, not just for when they're working at the library, but these are life skills. Lieutenant Christopher Nichols says it takes about three minutes for police to respond to an emergency situation, but remembering three things can help. Avoid an active shooter at all costs. Deny the shooter your location by locking the door. Defend yourself by throwing an object or using a weapon against the shooter. Officer Jimmy Noble says he tries to prepare his five-year-old niece for emergency situations. When I hear police uh, sirens, fire sirens, to let her know what they sound like in order for her to know that these mean emergency, you need to be prepared to follow instructions. Director Bell says the library gets thousands of foot traffic a year. She says an active shooter situation has crossed her mind before. Of course it does. <laughs> Of course it does, and what would we do in cases of an emergency? Lieutenant Nichols says the last thing you should do is hide and hope from an active shooter. If you find a chance to run away, do it.